you know, we're, we're searching for the right, we're constantly searching for the right people. And with the relationship that uh, I have with, from ownership to Jaime to Coach Sala, I think we're in lockstep on the type of people we're trying to bring into the organization. Douglas arrived in Florham Park with championship DNA, having learned from some of the game's best general managers. I think Ozzy is, uh, it's consistency, um, poise, um, you know, being able to make uh, tough decisions uh, and taking emotions out of it. Um, just, I mean, his, his level of consistency is, is through the roof. You know, my opportunity to work in Chicago with Ryan Pace, I mean, that was a, that was a great opportunity and his, Ryan truly cared for, for helping people um, progress in their careers, you know. He didn't have to give me the opportunity to, to leave Chicago to go to Philadelphia, but, um, you know, he genuinely cared for, for your progression and your development. And then with Howie in Philadelphia, just the creativity, the ability to think outside the box, uh, see things from a different lens, um, and be aggressive when the opportunity presents itself. Just his overall presence, you know, how, how he treats people on a daily basis, how this is a family-like atmosphere. And, you know, Joe is, uh, he, he, he's really good at, you know, keeping things to the vest in terms of his beliefs when it, when it comes to certain players, because he doesn't want to necessarily influence the room, but he's, he's really strong in his beliefs. And, and he's really, uh, he, I think he does an outstanding job of, uh, of, of taking a cumulative uh, approach when, uh, when, when drafting players. I asked, I asked Brick and Robert right now before we get going what they thought our biggest needs on defense were after free agency. Joe's unbelievable. He's a brilliant mind when it comes to uh, building a roster and his ideas and, and uh, uh, working the draft, working free agency, you know, just from a value standpoint, working the salary cap and um, no ego, uh, willing to listen to everyone's opinion, but at the same time understands exactly when it comes to crunch time, how can you take all that information to make the best decision for the organization. He's got the best disruption rate of any of the guys we've talked about so He's far. a rock star. He's, um, we're all fortunate to, to have him, and uh, and there's there's no doubt in my mind that he's 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 building a winner in this, uh, along with everybody else, we're, we're building a winner in this organization, and obviously he's, he's leading the charge. The locker room is the most important room in, in this building. And so, um, look, we're trying to have the highest quality of people in that room. They have to love the game. Um, they have to be consistently competitive. There has to be an internal drive to be great. Uh, and, and having these conversations with Coach Sala and his staff, you know, I feel like we've from day one, we've been on the same page of exactly what type of person we want to add to that room. The march to the 2022 draft is a long road, with each member of the scouting staff playing a pivotal role along the way. The thing that he has to do on is lower body flex and now release between two blocks. So I ended up with a six up. This is such a, a process, such a long process for our scouting staff, and you know, they dive in head first, and you know, th these guys have that, have that passion, that love, everything we're looking for and they show that you know, basically from the end of the draft, work into next year's draft, and the time and the miles driven, the hours put in, the, the, the contacts built throughout these, these different colleges, campuses. That size and quickness to be dominant, a dominant run block in the NFL, probably best in a downhill power scheme. Where you can to know that you can truly make an impact on your team as a road scout, you know, who's, or an area scout, or a college director, uh, it's, it, it, it's inspiring, it's motivating, and so, you know, from a, from a draft standpoint, you know, we certainly could make some headway. You know, you hit two, three, four picks that are bona fide long-term starters, you can change your team. It has too much size, strength, and athletic, athletic ability will definitely be a starter by year two. This is a tough, physical, ultra-aggressive, innately violent individual. This guy switches real. Football is extremely important to him. He practices every day and he practices hard. He's completely self-made. Each, each person um, brings a, a unique perspective to our room, but each person's so valued. And another thing that uh, I've taken from Ozzy is that if you've done the work, you, ha you should have a voice. You should have a voice in this process. And so uh, it doesn't matter if you've been a 20-year road scout or you're a first-year intern. If you've done the work, we want to hear your input. We want to hear what you have to say about this player. 
and we want to create an inclusive environment and um, respect the amount of time and effort that each person puts into a single evaluation over and over again. You include every player in this draft. So there's a shared respect, there's a shared vision, um, there's constant communication and a lot of inclusion. And, uh, you know, I'm, we're, we're blessed to have great, great people in this department.